This is a theme-specific training for responsive sites in theme number four in Drupal 7. Other theme-specific trainings can be found on the support site at support.1h.com. You will also find trainings for all of her responsive themes on support.1h.com. This uh, training will go ahead and show you how to manage the three panel images on your theme number four homepage. To get started, you'll want to be logged into the site. You can log in uh, using the menu link over here on the uh, top right corner. And then once you click on that menu link, that will open up your three panel menu where you can use the login link at the bottom right corner in that right panel and go ahead and log into the site. Once you're logged in, you'll have access to the black admin menu at the top of the screen and we'll be good to go. To get started, each one of these three panel images, when you click on that, they should open out full width. So you're able to see the full image. For each one of those images, you'll be able to change out that image as well as the title that appears in the blue button with the white text in large uh, letters. You're also able to switch out the teaser text that appears below that title, um, and you can even change up the link to each one of those items. When you click on either Learn More or the title Education, that should take you to the page that you have chosen to have this uh, go ahead and link to. You have the ability to switch out a lot in here. So you can switch out the image, the title, the teaser text, and the link. Um, to get started, as I mentioned, you'll want to be logged in. You'll notice that under Content Add Content, you don't see the ability to add any panel items. You only have the ability to edit the three panel items you have already here, but that doesn't mean that you can't completely switch out the image, the title, the teaser text, and the URL link. So again, you'll want to go ahead and scroll over Content and click on the word Content. That'll take you to your Content Management filter. And those three uh, items are going to actually be three different content types. In the little type filter right here in that drop down, you can choose between panel one, panel two, and panel three. Those are the three content types for your panel items. Please be aware that panel one, panel two, and panel three correspond um, to this area. So the far left is panel one. The center is going to be panel two. And then the far right is going to be panel three. So again, center is panel two, far right is panel three, and then of course your far left is going to be panel one. So if I wanted to update something on the far left, I'm gonna go over to panel number one, apply that filter, you'll see this item. And again, the title should correspond to what you see out here over the image. So in this case, I know I'm going to be editing the education item, I'll come on over and edit. You'll see I don't have the ability to delete this content. You just have the ability to edit what's already here. So I can change out the title to be whatever I want it to be. And I also have the ability to switch out the image. I can remove the existing image and upload an image from my computer. So I can go ahead and uh, take out that one and browse for a different image. Let's go ahead and choose different education image. How about let's go that one. I'm gonna upload the image. I have the ability to crop the image. Now I need to make sure that this image is at least 2,300 pixels wide by 1,535 pixels tall. Now that is a large image, and that means, again, that I need to have a nice, large, high-quality image for this area. Again, those images need to be 2,300 pixels wide by 1,535 pixels tall. You cannot use an image that is smaller than that dimension, it will not look good on the homepage, and it will look either pixelated or potentially um, you might have some weird spacing issues with that. So again, 2,300 pixels wide by 1,535 pixels tall, and those are the dimensions for all three of the panel items, so panel images. So I have a uploaded a new image into this area. I can use this cropping tool to uh, kind of figure a different uh, area that I wanna focus on. Now, please be aware of the larger image area. You'll see you've got two images right here. 
The larger image is how it's actually going to look out on the home page. The smaller image allows me to kind of figure out with my cropping tool how I want this image to look. Now underneath this area, you'll see an image position. Now you'll see left, center, or right. Now that actually means where you want the focus of the image to be. So in this case, if I want the focus to be on the left side of the image, I can choose left. If I want it to be in the center, I can choose center. If I want it to be on the right side, the right. Now when I say the image position, you wanna be aware that this image is going to open up full width when you click on it. However, when you're not clicking on it, it's going to hide and go back over to its paneled area. So again, that is the orientation of the image. So if I choose left, that means it's going to show this left area. So I'm gonna choose left, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, save. I do have the ability to change the page that this links to. So this links to the Our Work page. So when I click on Education, it takes me to Our Work. And now I have the ability to switch that to a different page. So if I want Education to go to the Education page, then I can go ahead and in my menu, find the Education page. And then all I need for this Education page is what appears up here in your web address, what appears after this first forward slash. So if I wanna change education, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the word education. Again, that is just the page name, so we're gonna change the URL from our dash work to education. And then we can always update the body if we want to. I'm gonna leave this teaser text again. This does appear underneath the title on the home page, And I don't need to do anything else to this page except for save. And then once I have updated anything, of course, I'm going to want to check my work out on the home page. Now, again, I picked the left orientation. So that way the image opens up full width. Now I could pick a different side if I needed to. Um, when I click on the education link, it should, or click on the education title, it should take me to the education page, which it does. But again, I can always go back to my list of content by clicking the word content. And then I can change out anything in panel number one, panel number two, or panel number three. All three of those content types are going to be exact replicas of each other. So if you can edit anything in panel number one, you're also able to edit anything in panel number two as well as panel number three. If you have any questions about editing or uh, managing the three panels on your theme number four uh, homepage, go ahead and in the black admin menu, click the OE support button. It might also say support or help, but go ahead and click on that link and that will take you out to our support site, which is support.1h.com. Go ahead and use the start a conversation link up here in the right corner. And the under the website category, you'll want to start a new conversation with us. Let us know any questions that you have. If you are trying to upload an image and it won't let you upload the image, you can uh, upload that image to your support conversation so that way our team can take a look over any of the adjustments that you are trying to make. Uh, our team is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if you need any help.